Uh, I started blogging since th uh, nearly three years ago um, because I think it was, uh, for me, as a feminist women rights activist and journalist, is like an alternative media. I can write uh, my articles, my opinions, uh, which I'm not allowed to talk about them in the official newspapers and dailies. And um, it, it seems very interesting for me that it is a free place which I myself is the owner, uh, is the editor and everything and I can uh, write about whatever, what, what issue I want. So I started blogging, yeah. I, know, I myself in my, you know, in my talks, interviews, experiences in other countries, I see that, wow, there are so many bad publicities against Iranian. Even sometimes they ask me unbelievable questions like that, for example, do you live in tents? Do you have car in Iran? <laughs> I don't know. Or the real? Uh, uh, can you go to university as a woman? So there, are, I think there are so many bad uh, publicities, and um, what we see in the media uh, about Iran is really not not the correct face, not the correct picture of Iran. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's good to bloggers to write. I don't know about their daily lives, daily experiences, everything. It gives to uh, other other audiences have much more clear picture and correct picture about Iranian people. One of the m Iranian um, famous journalists once in an interview said that in Iran, if you become a journalist, um, obviously you are mad or you are a lover. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a correct um, it's a correct actually phrase because. Um, I think journalism is the most difficult job in Iran. You, sh you must always be ready to lose your job. For example, one newspaper, a magazine, everything, banned, and you become jobless. And you see the number of newspapers are limited, so it's, again, f hard for you to find a job. And or for example, mm, there is always uh, this danger that the, you got arrested because of, I don't know, some articles, some cartoons you draw, something like this. So it's really a hard job. No, I'm, I, I'm, always be, I'm always careful about the red lines in my web blog because at first I write with my own name, not with a nickname or something. And um, I, I can tell you that um, Black Sophia is not also a safe place because we have some cases that uh, the government um, arrested some bloggers due to what they write in their uh, web blogs. But it is more, you know, uh, free and democratic space. Um, this, is, this is my main web blog, which is um, actually blocked nearly six months ago uh, by the judiciary and um, official authorities, and I don't know why, because I'm not a political blogger, I'm not right about political issues, I'm always very careful. Uh, but I myself think that perhaps it's because of the hits, because my web blog was among um, the fa you know, very popular blogs. I don't know, perhaps it's because of this, I'm not sure. And you can see here is the main blog, which I myself don't have any access to it. I was checking my emails and somebody uh, uh, send me an email and write that I live in Karaj. Karaj is a small city near Tehran. Uh, I'm going to check your web blog today and I see that your address is blocked. And I said, oh, I check it, it said that, no, it's not blocked yet. But after, gradually I think that they, uh, I th my readers um, actually send me different emails and said that, for example, I live in this city, you are uh, web blog blocked, 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 and suddenly <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> all around the country block. I, I don't know um, now how, how many web blogs we have, but I know that is a very large number. Mm -hmm. It's a very um, popular concept, especially uh, for youths. I think that um, it's a good path to you know, practice democracy. Because, for example, you see that there are, you have so many readers who are against you. You so many readers um, who disagree with you. So you start talking with them, um, good discussions happen. I think it's really a good way to practice democracy.